Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hey guys, Amber Bruce here from the Kiefer Bar in Vancouver, British Columbia. And much like you, I'm stuck at home, forced to make cocktails for myself instead of for you. So while you're stuck at home, I'm gonna give you a simple recipe for a syrup that you can uh, make at home to help elevate your cocktail game. Today, what we're gonna make is a chamomile maple syrup. It goes really, really well with uh, aged tequila. And after you've had a cocktail, you can put it on your pancakes in the morning. So what you're gonna need is some maple syrup. Uh, get a local one if you can, or the best quality that you can find. You're gonna need some dried chamomile flowers. Uh, most grocery stores will have this, but if you can't find it uh, just by itself, you can get a chamomile tea bag and just cut that open. Also need a little bit of water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, 120 mils of maple syrup into a saucepan and add 60 mils of water into the saucepan. Uh, to that we'll add about a heaping teaspoon of chamomile flowers and just heat that uh, gently over low heat. You don't want too hot because uh, we don't want to scald the maple syrup. You don't want it to burn, you'll get too many dark flavors in there. So we'll keep it, uh, we're just looking to infuse, we're just looking to infuse the chamomile into the maple syrup, nice and gently. After that's simmered for about five to 10 minutes, you can take it off the heat and strain out the chamomile flowers. Uh, let that cool and at room temperature and uh, then you just keep it in your fridge um, and you're ready to make cocktails. So now that you've got your uh, chamomile maple syrup, I'm gonna teach you how to make a really simple cocktail at home with just four ingredients. So we'll start with our chamomile maple syrup into a shaker tin. We're gonna do half an ounce. To that, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. I recommend getting your lemon juice from a lemon. Nice and fresh. Uh, to that, we're gonna add some Jennifer or Geneva or Yennefer, all the same, different pronunciation. It's uh, essentially gin, uh, but it's got a little bit more of a bready flavor that's gonna work really, really well in this cocktail. It's kind of a breakfasty cocktail. Uh, cocktails were originally drank in the morning at breakfast time, usually to kind of cure a hangover from the night before. So this one would be a perfect one for that. And last but not least, the kind of shining uh, ingredient in this cocktail is gonna be the Cazadores Añejo Tequila. It's 100% uh, blue agave tequila, uh, rested for over two years. It's gonna bring out all those beautiful vanilla tones in the, um, in the tequila that you're getting from all that oak aging. It goes really, really nice with a maple syrup. Yes, I know, Chippy. My dog's over here hunting flies. <laughs> to that, we're gonna add some ice. And shake it up. Now, if you're a pro, you've gone ahead and got your glassware, but since, you know, we're just making cocktails at home, you can go over your cupboard and get it like this. Right. Glass. Nice chilled drink. And you're just gonna strain that into your cocktail glass. Now, if you wanted to, you could finish, you could garnish with some of those uh, chamomile flowers. Uh, but again, we're just making cocktails for ourselves at home, so we're just gonna leave this one garnished. It's got a lot of aromatics. I can smell the chamomile coming out of there already. And that is the Quixote's Folly. Cheers. Big shout out to Bacardi for having us here today. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Shift so you can get lots of uh, recipes coming into your YouTube feed. Cheers, guys.